Temperatures today were a little chilly as highs only warmed up into the mid 20s below normal for this time here. The 30s and 40s will make a return to the forecast as we head towards your weekend. We'll take a look at uh, some of those weather headlines uh, for us uh, for today as uh, we have those temperatures uh, at least uh, staying somewhat mild through the next uh, several days. So we'll be staying in the 20s at least uh, through Friday. Mild weekend though in store for us as well as temperatures will be right back into those 40s potentially and we'll have a warm start to March as well. We'll have kind of an outlook here in just a couple minutes of uh, at least the first week into March. Temperatures will be dropping down tonight as uh, we'll see the sunset to beautiful sunset again this evening here in southeast Minnesota. Temperatures in Rochester 23 degrees. Those winds out of the northwest at about 14 miles per hour. We still have those mid 20s still at 30 in La Crosse at 30 degrees 23 in Osage and 25 in Austin. Currently outside we have a little wave of energy trying to spark some flurries off to our north and northwest. That's just off to the west of the cities. We'll watch for that tonight. Could run into a couple flurries, but for the most part, I think that falls apart. No accumulating snow on the way for this evening. Some flurries continue off to our east as well. The main source of energy well off to our east impacting the northeast now and through the Ohio River Valley. Quiet conditions continue for us in southeast Minnesota and northeast Iowa through at least Sunday. I don't necessarily think our next strong system, you could say, impacts the area until next Monday. So wind speeds notice here behind the temperatures still moving out of the north to the northwest. That will be something to watch. Eventually we'll see a southerly flow here in a second future cast with some warmer temperatures. Temperatures tonight dropping down into uh, the lower teens, potentially close to the single digits. I think most of the cold weather staying well off to our north and northwest, uh, more towards Morris and then into portions of South Dakota. As we continue to move through tomorrow, then temperatures warming right back up. We're into the mid 20 about a repeat of today, kind of a rinse and repeat forecast for at least Thursday and Friday. As we continue towards your weekend, uh, Thursday night, still quiet conditions, and we're dropping right back down into the lower teens. Friday, more of the same, mid-20s for those highs. Eventually, as we head towards the weekend, then notice some of these wind speeds uh, start to turn. They're more out of the south to the south southwest, bringing in some moisture. Look at these temperatures. Omaha at 51, Des Moines at 47 will warm up as well. That's only at 1230. I think high temperature Saturday then could potentially be all the way up into the upper 30s. That's because we're dragging all that warm and a little bit more moist air to southeast Minnesota and northeast Iowa. Now as we continue through March, we'll see normal high temperatures to start the month. We're at 32 degrees. We take one of our biggest jumps from the beginning of the month to the end of the month. Late March, we normally have temperatures right at 49 degrees, so we will start to warm up. It will feel like spring, but just remember on average, Rochester averages of right around 8.7 inches of snowfall. They don't think we're done with the snowfall just quite yet. Now the 8 to 14 day temperature outlook. We do look at some warmer than normal temperatures in that forecast as we head through late next week. Your town forecast for tonight. Temperatures dropping down to around 10 degrees for the overnight low in Rochester tonight. About 11 to 10 degrees in northeast Iowa as well. As we get your town forecast for tomorrow, 25 degrees for that ice will be in the mid to lower 20s. Same with northeast Iowa, mid 20s for those highs. Coming up on your Thursday, Friday, more of the same. Some chances for flurries Friday night into Saturday. Beautiful weekend. We'll have those highs in the upper 30s, potentially lower 40s. I think we could even see mid 40s in northeast Iowa coming up on Sunday. And then early next week, I think our next system pushes in. We'll have a chance for a little bit of rain snow mix, but still warm temperatures. Obviously, no way of knowing if we could expect any you know major winter event between now and the end of winter. Uh, we'll have to wait and see. I, I wouldn't no uh, long range prediction. No long. I, I'm not going to go on record and predict anything just quite yet. That's fair. Yes. Okay. Thank you, Nick. <laughs> Here's a look at